This is a section of the value stream map that we created in the previous video. What we're going to talk about here is this area here where it says add anything you want from here down by editing a specific file. And you can see an example down here where we put in things like the tag time, the cycle time, full time equivalents and so forth. Uh, you can put anything you want in this area and you can extend it as many rows down as you wish. The key things when designing your uh, template is to know where the, t the word tasks are and where the word process steps is. Anything in between here you can customize to your own particular needs of your business. Now as it says in the note here, the file that we're going to be dealing with is valuestreamconfig.xls and it tells you where it is. It's in the C timer palm folder of your PC. So here you can see we're in the C timer palm folder and here is a valuestreamconfig.xls file. And now we've opened up the valuestreamconfig.xls file and you can see what we have here. We've got basically the same uh, diagram that you see at the top here. Of course, that can be anything. You can change it any way that you want. Down here we have the tasks and we have the blank area. This is where we actually put the, <coughs> the values coming from TimerPro itself, i.e. the process time, number of operators, non-value added time, required non-value added time, and and the net value added time. And here's the comment that we put in here. So you can see all we're doing is basically copying the comment over. So in this area down here, right, uh, below the tasks, these are all going to be handled by Timer Pro. Then you can put anything you'd like in this area here. Any calculations, any formulas and so forth, they'll all be copied over. Now notice in the template itself, Right in the value stream config dot template, there's only one little area here con uh, configured. It's just that one area. Because what happens is when you call it from uh, Timer Pro, it's actually going to duplicate whatever you put in this area right here, and it's going to duplicate it as many times as it has to to complete the process. So in this example, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them are duplicated all the way across, and then they're populated automatically by Timer Pro. So this area down here is where you'd pick up with your own calculations to customize the, um, the uh, value stream for your particular needs. Back on the value stream config uh, Excel sheet, the key things you have to remember is you have to have the word tasks. What we're looking for is the word tasks, and that's we know at that point immediately one column to the right we're going to put in the uh, start putting populating the timer pro data. This is where the description will go. We know then that the process time will go here and so forth. So we're looking for the word task. It can be anywhere in your value stream. We will find it for you, and then we'll actually uh, start populating from that particular point. After tasks, you can you could change our labels here. Anything you want, you put in your own data here. Uh, we'll automatically put in the little. Um, let's go back up. The uh, little. Um, the wave here and then what we're looking for is process steps so two key things are the word tasks and then down below that somewhere some number of rows down you must have the word process steps and from there we'll take it again this is where we start to dump in all of the details of the individual steps that are in there so if I come back up here, you can see tasks and you can see process steps here and if I switch back over to the actual one that's populated you can see here's the tasks Here's the descriptions, and here's where we started dropping the data. And then we started duplicating it for each of the steps, each of the tasks in our process. So each one of these matches up with the tasks we have in here, right, and from our line balancing. So it means that we can actually generate as many as we want all the way out here to fill in the needed area. And you can see this area here is just being copied. These are appearing here only because they're in as examples in our uh, the one that you delivered with this one here. So the idea is you can change this any way that you want to capture any information. And obviously, depending on the number of steps that you have in your process, we will then generate the appropriate number of waves down here. And then down here below it, you can see here's the process steps. This is telling us where we need to um, where we need to start dropping in the information. So it has to be in the same column, but it can be any column and any row. It can be in. It just has to be down below the word tasks, right? So we know the tasks go in first, we put in all the other information, and then we'll automatically start putting in the uh, actual activities by, by task, uh, 
below in the row immediately below the process steps. Now you can see in the template here, if I go back to the template one more time, process steps, value added, non-value added required. Those words are actually in the um, value string config file. You can see them right here, but they're not colored, right? Because what's happening is we pick up whatever colors you're defining as being value added, non-value added, and required non-value added. Remember, you do that under the view, default colors area here. You can change the colors here. So if I wanted to change my non-value added here to red, right? Now all of the non-value added activities will turn red. And if I was to generate the value stream map of that, so I'm going to just go up here again and do my value stream map. I'll pick up revision number two here and I'll let it go ahead and do that. And you see right there what it did. It actually put in the non-value added that's coming in as red because that's the color we use as a default color. So the key thing you have to know is that um, it will pick up and color it uh, to match up with your uh, actual process in the background here that you see in the background. So in summary then, the um, value stream config.xls file is found in the C timer palm folder and this is where you actually customize what your value stream map is going to look like. So we give you a lot of flexibility in terms of what the output is going to uh, be, uh, look like for your particular operation here. Notice also here, this also has a tab for the available icon library. So if you want to add your own icons, be sure and add them into the value stream config.xls file, and then you'll be able to use it in all your future value stream maps.